guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a hair product review. So basically, as you can see, I've got afro hair, like curly, frizzy, ringlet hair. Um, but I've always had trouble with it. Because I either have it in braids or have it out like this. When And then I say out, I mean have it in a bun all the time. Because I'm just not that confident with having my hair out. As you can see here is a picture of me with my hair out but most of the time I've got it up like this or in the low bun for work or it's in braids and majority of the time I've had it in braids. I've had grey, blonde, red, purple, purple and white, um, silver, black, light brown, black and light brown. I think that's it. I've not done blue yet, I might do blue eventually but that's not the point. So today I'm going to be reviewing some hair products because this hair has been an absolute struggle to try and get to where I want it to be because even when I have it like this it looks alright but it's so dead and dry to the point where I just don't like looking at it so for the longest time I've been struggling trying to find a product, shampoo, conditioner, everything to make the curls look pretty and to also keep my hair nice and moisturised at all times so I used to use the Garnier shampoo and conditioner the like, coconut blends one i used to use that and then i went on to this other one called a Josio Josio shampoo and conditioner which i got when i went to get my hair straight in the first time and they used this one and it recommended it for me and it actually worked out quite well but then i needed more frizz to my hair kind of like more moisture so I started getting the Cantu products and that's what this video is based on. We are going to be looking at the Cantu hair products and I'm going to be telling you all about them and how much I like them and what they've done for my hair. So the first ones I ever bought were this. So we've got the Cantu, I don't know if you'll be able to see if it will focus itself. Well, it, won't, it probably won't focus. But this one here is this weird shaped bottle. And it, this one is the Car Cantu Shea Butter for Natural Hair Coil Calm Detangler. So this one we used when my hair was freshly washed and we were ready to comb it out. Because this one you spray onto damp hair and then comb it through and it makes it easier to comb through. Because my hair is an absolute pain. Especially once I've left it for too long and all my curls bunched together and it's an absolute pain in the arse to untangle. So this was a lifesaver. As you can see, I've used majority of it, but I've not really used much of it recently for the fact I've had my braids in for a long time. But when they do come out, I used to use this, but I've not touched it for a while. Because a lot of these products sat downstairs in my old room as I bought new ones, and then I forgot to rotate them and I stopped using certain ones. But this one is absolutely perfect for detangling your hair. The next one I got was the Split End Mender Strengthening, Strengthening Mist which is this bottle here and it comes out in a spray like that which I've just sprayed the wall but it used to have it, I prefer a spritz spray but this one's quite a, just a powerful one but this one's for my split ends and I have a lot of split ends on my hair because it, it gets quite damaged sometimes because I don't really take that much care of it and we've not we're yet to find a hairdresser that can tackle my hair because every time for my whole life gone to a hairdresser and they've never been able to do my hair they always go wow you've got a lot of hair oh we don't know how to do that type of hair sort it out hairdressers because I'm struggling over here but yeah this one I usually after I've done all my hair I just grab the ends of it and I just spray it round the ends and it actually does work it makes them much stronger so I have less dead ends but there's still a lot to cut off most of the time. When I went to the hairdressers recently, they ended up cutting off about this much hair because it was all just dead. My bad, but you know. I'm getting there, I promise. So that's number two. This one's really good, but as you can see, I don't really use much of it. But you, a little bit goes a long way. A little bit can do all my split ends. So that's the good part of that one. Next up, I have this one, which has been destroyed and used, and I bought new ones. It is the Moisturising Curl Activator Cream. You can't see any of these labels because my camera is really bad, but it's fine. Curl Activating Moisturising Cream. And it is activates curls, delivers volume and shine, reveals frizz-free frizz bouncy curls. So this one is literally just a like a, 
a cap and it's just moisturiser and you have to proper shake it to get it out because I've used so much of it. But this one you apply to damp hair, sex to my section, reapply to dry hair as needed for additional moisture. So this one I usually use when the hair is dry as heck. So I take it out and I just put loads in my hand and just moisturise the heck out of my hair. There's no rhyme or reason to it, no sectioning. I only ever section it when it's in when it's just come out the like when I've just come out of the shower after just washing it. But other than that I usually just grab it and just wish it all over my hair. And it does what it does because it'll go from dry to bouncy curls in two seconds. But it's all well and good because it dries out again in the next like hour because my hair just doesn't like moisture and it takes it and then just goes, eats it up and it's dry again. But this one's really good and I have really loved it. As you can see, I've got barely anything left in it. If I would just, as you can see by that, barely anything left in the bottle. I would just boop, boop, boop. So yeah, that one's quite good because it's a pressy cap. So that's that one. As you can see as well, the bottle is quite, um, not dirty, but like it's got moisturiser all over it because this these moisturisers are really, really sticky. So I've put them in my hair and then I have to wipe my hands on towels and then try again and then do more and more and more and more. So there's not really much I can do about that. It's just kind of messy. And then afterwards my hands are absolutely sticky and I've got to wash them ten times over. So that's them them ones. The next one I got, which we I have gone through three tubs of this because it is the perfect cream, moisturiser, everything. We use it when we're doing my braids. Let's just adjust this lighting again. There you go. We use it when we're doing my braids, we use it when my hair is dry, when we're just combing it through, everything. So this is the Cantu obviously coconut curling cream and it's in this little tub. If I just open it up, it's like this. And it's quite, it's quite loose. It smells absolutely amazing. It's not too strong as coconut smell, but it is if you put a lot in. And I put a lot. I'll probably use at least like, say this lid, the width of this lid is how much I use just to bring my hair back to life. But this one's really good. So you smooth onto damp hair section by section, beginning at the root and work towards ends. Do not rinse and can be used on dry hair to re-moisturize curls. So what I usually do, which I'll show you in a minute, is I just take my hair out, grab loads on this hand and just run it through my hair and it makes the hair look wet. So it's like wet look curls, which is exactly what I want in my life. But yeah, this is a perfect product. And it's usually from the shop in Manchester we go to, it is £8.99 from there. So it's not too bad. A lot of these products you I've got in that shop and then a lot of them I just get in the supermarket like Asda and stuff which is really good because they have a whole load of stuff for it but yeah this one is the, my favourite product I use this all the time and recently because I've started getting much more into doing my hair finally I'm finally starting to take care of it because I've realised that I need to actually work on it for it to get where I want it to be I can't just moisturise it once in the blue moon after I've washed it it has to be moisturised every single day. The struggles of having mixed race hair. But yeah, this product, it's Kate approved. I can't say that, so that's Jeffree Star saying. It's Kate, Kate confirmed. Woohoo! That's going to be the new thing. We're going to Kate confirm these products. Next, I have this powerful thing. Look how empty this is. Because I've used it for the past like three days and I use a lot of it in one go and it's dying out quickly. So this is the Comeback Curl Next Day Curl Revitalizer. So this one you literally just put in the day before you want your hair your curls to be like bouncy and amazing. Just spray it all over your hair, moisturize it in and the next day your hair, your curls will be like more ringlety, pretty and all that lot. So spray onto dry or damp hair section by section to restore, refresh and revive curls, coils and waves reapply to dry hair for additional moisture so yeah this one I literally just spray all over and it's like a it's like one of them too but if you press hard enough it's like just comes out but it's just like a, it's not a misty one it's a normal one so 
Yeah, this is new, as it says at the top, new Cantu product. And it refreshes curls, reduces frizz, and adds shines made of 100% shea butter for all curl types. So yeah, this one is amazing. Just go and every inch of my hair and it makes it wet, beautiful curls and moisturise its hair. So I use this one at the same time as using this one and they just work very well together. Kate confirmed. Next up, I got this one two days ago I think it is, so I've not used it that often but it works a wonder. Well, I think it works a wonder. I've not seen many results from it yet but I feel like it will do quite well with my hair. So this is the Cantu So this is the Cantu Wave Whip Curling Mousse. That's a tongue twister. Wave Whip Curling Mousse. As you can tell, I can't do my R's or my W's in double double words. But yeah, so this bottle is much different to the others. So it looks like this. Very put it like this. So this defines waves and curls without the crunch, touchable, frizz-free finish. Frizz-free finish weightless moisture and conditioning so this one you apply to wet hair and scrunch up toward the apply to wet hair then scrunch hair upward towards the scalp hold and release allow hair to air dry or diffuse and the styling tip is finished with the shine and hold mist which i did have but i used the whole bottle and now it's gone i used to use that one before i got any of these moisturizers as a way to bring my hair back to life and i just end up using it all and i'm yet to purchase some more but yeah, this one is great because it comes out in a foam. If I just show it like that. And then you rub it together and you scrunch your hair like this. I'll do a demonstration in a minute for you with these products and show you exactly what I do with some of them. But this one is good for making the curls stay a little bit and look a bit more bouncy and keep them a bit more rounded to my hair. Rather than just looking a bit flat and dry. But I've yet to see proper results, but then it's only been like two days of using it. So we'll see what happens. I usually use this with this and then finish it off with this if it doesn't look as curly as I want it to look. So they're the moisturising products. And like I said before, I have the, I used to use the Garnier shampoo. I had the coconut oil one and the coconut butter, shea butter one. And they were perfect. They worked for a while. But then I realised I need to try something different because my head used to be get really itchy after a while, like after two days after I washed it. And I can't wash my hair every single day because then it just dies more than it did before. So having an itchy head was not the best thing to feel like having. Um, so I thought I need to find some new shampoo and conditioner. I was just looking on Instagram and I saw Patricia Bright put a little video on doing her daughter's hair. And she used all these Cantu products and she used the shampoo and conditioner. So I thought, and her hair looks exactly like mine, like it was dry. And then she used all these products and it brought back the curls again. So I was like, right, let's try these products myself. So I went out the other day when I bought that mousse and I got the Cantu, I got the Cantu Sulfate Free Hydrating Cream Conditioner, which helps retain hair, natural, hair's natural oils with very... I've got the hydrating cream conditioner, helps ret hair retain natural oils, reveals healthier hydrated hair and great for natural and coloured hair. So that's the conditioner. And then the shampoo is the sulfate free cleansing cream shampoo. Rich lather removes heavy build up, gentle formula prevents, prevents breakage and great for natural and coloured hair. So I got these two and I used them the other day and I already saw a massive difference as soon as I got out of the shower. I took my hair out the towel and it already looked amazing like the, my hair was shiny and beautiful and soft and it was just amazing and then after I did that I put this in, the mousse and the moisturiser, braided my hair up as I'll insert a picture here, I look like um, Travis Scott and I left that in for the whole day, the whole night and then most of the next day and then I finally took them out and my hair looked like this really really curly and it just looked great and ever since then my hair has felt really moisturised and that's because of these two products and because of them so that's that now if you want to well, let's put the brightness back up I will show you how I do some of these products so if I just get this up 
as you can see my hair looks a bit meh a bit dead but it's fine so usually I start off with the comeback curl next day with retriever reviver revitalizer whatever the name was I can't remember what it's called and I can't pronounce it revitalizer this one and I just spray it all over my hair in the roots and the beginning and then I just massage it in and curl it all backwards like that can you see that I don't know if you can see that very well there we go as you can see I just do that make it really bright I'll wash out my face so you can see oh see me on here so yeah I just spray this all over my hair and you have to be careful because it drips it's like basically water so I just do it on all the undersides of my hair top to bottom doesn't really have any matter where it goes or what part of your hair it does in but just like so and then just pull my hair up and do the back and then fling it back and it adds a bit more curl to it if you can see next I get the curling mousse this pump about two pumps in my hand which you won't be able to see rub them together and then I just scrunch my hair upwards like so then I also get my cream I just take about a dollop on my hand you probably won't be able to see it like this and then I just attack my hair and it makes your hair a bit white as you can see but once it does that the curls come alive as you can see look at them the bounciest curls ever and then we just do the same on the other side so it's from the root pull it all in and then just massage it in and look it gives the curls a nice wet look to it so we just do that all over, back of the hair, everything, roots, ends, every which direction. You have to be careful when doing it at the end of the hair because it stays quite white. You have to make sure you moist, massage it in or else you're going to be walking around with some white ends on your hair. So yeah, I'm not going to do my whole head because I've already done it today. So I do that. So that is my hair routine, the new and improved, if I just turn you back slightly. So yeah, that's my hair, as you can see. See, I know it's pretty and everything, and everyone tells me it's so pretty, but one day I'll have the courage to go out with it like this. Maybe in a few weeks, months, when the curls are exactly how I want them. But for now, it stays up in a bun most of the time. But for now, I like it like this, this very minute. So I think we should take a lovely little selfie. So yeah, that is the end of that. As I just tie my hair. Oh no, we'll finish it off with my hair and afro actually. We'll get some good screenshots from it. So yeah, that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I really enjoy all these products. And I think if you've got the same hair as me, then I highly recommend you go out and get these. They're quite reasonably priced. The shampoo and shampoo and conditioners were about eight pound each which is a bit pricey but for the products you get it is worth it completely because it has helped my hair so much but yeah the rest of them quite reasonably priced and they actually work out in the end so they've lasted me quite a while so i think everyone should go out and get them well, maybe not everyone but i'm sure they work on all types of hair especially if you've got not even afro frizz hair but just like normal frizzy hair then it will work out well for you. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Thank you, bye.